to be almost <laughs> anywhere. That's why they call it a Wanderberry. <laughs> we better find it soon. We need it for the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. Oh, uh, we'll find it sooner or later. <laughs> we always do. Well, according to the rules, the Berry Fest princess is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. And you're the Berry Fest princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader! <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters. As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look. Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> okay, Custard, Pupcake, keep your eyes open. Only one Wanderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> Oh, there it is. The one and only, one of a kind, Wonderberry. Isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? Careful, Pupcake. This berry is going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. Look out! <laughs> Whoa! Are you all right, Berry Kim Blue? Uh, uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Uh, had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. <sighs> but you found it. My, 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 yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color so rich. The shape just so, the texture, oh, amazing. Oh, and the aroma, oh, yes. Perfect in every way. Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Oh! Oh, yeah! 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 Oh, yeah!
quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. Oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh, it stopped. I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Whee! Oh! Whee! berry back now. Yeah. What'll we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. <sighs> that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it. Together. Come on, everybody. Grab hold. Let's with your legs. Okay, guys. Count to three. One, two, three. Better hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah. Can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. Uh, we have a tradition to keep, you know? Can I take a little break? <sighs> Too. I think we all need a rest. <laughs> we'll catch our breath, then we'll start again. Well, why can't we just leave it here? Yeah, just for one night. Oh, I don't think we better. Please, Strawberry. Um, it's tradition to store it at the Berry Works, right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the Berry Fest princess, and this decision is yours to make. I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess. Guess it'll be okay. Oh, Puffcake Custard! Do you hear that? It sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see. Why won't you tell me what... <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Is everything all right? The berry kids tell me that... Oh. oh. My. We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit. Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Can Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true. Quite true. All right. We'll have a Wonderberry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. 
You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide. Orange Blossom, you help the Berry Kim Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin. You'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you. Yes. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry. Okay? Voodoo! Okay! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How many does that make? 46 and 47. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The fairy can dance, ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fun. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wanderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wanderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you going to do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah. Tell us, Strawberry. Well, what's going to happen? What will we do? Yeah, what? I don't know. I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me, or did she seem a little stressed? Ugh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just oh, too much. Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but oh, which way now? Do you think it sounds weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake. There you go, come on now. I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry. It's smaller than the other one. But it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry! You found it! Oh, we were worried about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the Berry Fest Princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is! 
Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie. You fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry, you coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, Strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more. Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry. But this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. <laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fast feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. Yeah! But first... First, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fast princess, for this wonderful feast. <laughs> thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No. I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. True friends last forever. Forever friends stay strong. True friends go together like men.
the Galumphalot glumped closer and closer and closer until it went. Woogie, woogie, woogie! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Orange! I have your lunch all packed and ready for you. Thanks, Strawberry. Um, are they reading what I think they're reading? The Galumphalot story. You should stick around to hear the end. Um, no, thank you. The beginning and the middle are enough for me. And what did the Galumphalot say? Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! You decided to have a special <gasps> style under the stars hair extravaganza. <laughs> I can't think of a more thrilling way to spend an evening. Oh boy, I just can't wait to see how my hair will turn out. It's so super exciting. Raspberry, when I'm done with you, your hair will be completely different. Excitement, thrills? I'm here for the relaxation. <sighs> oh, I've had a busy week. Junction over in Berry Bitty City. We'll have to go over there to start the repair. Better keep the baby barricans here until we get the power back on. Have no fear. I am here, ready to take charge and fix this problem. Now, everyone, follow me. Come on, Mr. Longfang. The problem is not over there. Oh, oh yes. Uh, I was going to suggest we check there too. Sorry. So what do we do now? I can't style what I can't see. I think we should head outside and see what the trouble is. The Barricans might need some help fixing the power. Out uh, outside? Um, maybe we should just wait in here. What's wrong, Orange? Is something bothering you? Uh, I guess... I guess I'm just a little bit scared. You? But you're at least the very last one of us to be scared of anything. Oh, um, really? Well, yes. Remember the time when... You picked the fruit from the super high branch. You were the only one brave enough to swing into the pond. And then, you were the one that tightroped across... Oh, uh, never mind. You're not scared of anything. Well, I'm scared now, and I think we should stay inside. Are you saying you're afraid of the dark? I am absolutely not afraid of the dark. I didn't think you were. I'm afraid of the things that might be out there in the dark. Things? What things? Uh, like the moon and stars? Things like, well... Galumphalots! <gasps> wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! wuggy, wuggy, wuggy. <laughs> okay, guys, stop. She's serious. 
I'm sorry, Orange. Are you really afraid of galumph From that cute story I was just reading to the baby berrykins the other day? But they aren't afraid of it. Well, I am. <laughs> but galumph aren't real. They're just a silly story. But... but... Uh, how do you know galumph are just a story? Because... because... Uh, well... Uh, Blueberry? Well, it must be just a made-up story because I got it from the fiction section. You know, the make-believe section in my bookstore. But don't people who make up stories sometimes base them on real things? Well, yes, that is true. And it is a very old story. Can't call the author and ask. I told you! See? Maybe galumphalots aren't real, but how do you know for sure? How do you know they couldn't be out there? In the... dark? <laughs> because... well... Oh, come on. I've been in the dark lots of times and I've never ever seen one. But then we wouldn't see them. I mean, if they were real, it'd be hard to spot them in the dark because of the darkness. Not to mention, they could be really good at hiding out there, outside, in the dark. Oh, come on. This is silly. <laughs> One, two... <laughs> Do you think that's one of them? <laughs> now, wait a minute. How can we be sure that's a galump a lot? Yeah. I thought they sounded more like... Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! Well, whatever it is, let's keep it outside and... and, and us inside. Wait. See? It stopped. Glump a lot. <laughs> There's no such thing. <laughs> I say. <gasps> it heard you, Blueberry. And it's answering back. <laughs> Hmm. I would recommend bringing in the Big Banging Bolt Remover. What's that? It sounds like... Assemble this entire juice pipe junction and rebuild it from the ground up. Uh, uh, you know, Mr. Longface, the Berrykins might be able to find a way to get the pipe open on their own. Without my leadership? But then, what will I do? I have another job that is very important. <gasps> you don't say. At your service, Miss Shortcake. How can I help? We need someone to tell everyone in Berry Bitty City that the Berrykins are working on the problem and the power will be out for a bit longer. You are just the caterpillar to deliver the news. That I am. I'm on my way. Execute plan juice pipe junction double knot seven slash six one. There's the problem. <laughs>
much do you think the Galumphalot will do next? What if it's hungry for food? Food? Do you think it might... Do you think it likes food that, that tastes like... like... us? <gasps> I've never read anywhere that Galumphalots eat something like us. But I've also never read that they wouldn't eat something like us! <laughs> It <gasps> 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 sounds like it came from Orange's store! <gasps> the Galumphalot security trap I put outside my store! <gasps> I must have caught one. I'm sorry! What's falling on top of me?
thank you very much. Oh, it's good to know the lights are back on. What's this about a galumphalot? At Lemon Salon, the poor girls. I tried to save them, but I was completely <coughs> galumphed. Oh, but galumphalots aren't real. Yeah, yeah they're not true. real. No. This is a story. Ooh, ooh, this one most definitely was. <laughs> we must do something. Do you have a plan? No, no, no. This is a galumphalot we're dealing with. Much better. Uh, follow me. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Follow me. F f follow. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Oh, no. The Galumphalot's coming back. And it sounds like he's bringing friends. And lots of them. There's only one thing we can do. We have to face him, show him we're not scared, even though we are. <gasps> That's the spirit. On the count of three. One, two, on three, or after you say three. Oh, you know, I was wondering the same thing. Me too. I'd hate for you to run out on three, and I was left waiting here for you to say three. Maybe we could go out on four. Four's a good number. Yeah, yeah four. four. That's okay. a good idea. Okay. Four! <laughs> in your salon still out. The Berrykins fixed the juice pipe junction a while ago. The power's back on? <laughs> oh, Bitterberries, I had the light switch off. Sorry, girls. What is this all about? There was a galumphalot. And we booby-trapped it. But it came back. No, that was us. <clears throat> and, um, uh, me, I I'm afraid. What got you thinking about galumphalots in the first place? Blueberry said she read a book that didn't say there weren't any galumphalots. Well, I only said that because the rest of you were sure there were galumphalots. But it's just a story. Woogie, woogie, woogie! It... it was me. Oh... Ever since I heard that story, I started imagining what if there were galumphalots? And the story said they liked the dark, and I imagined some more, and, and well, soon I was booby trapping all around my store, and then Lemon Star too, and then... Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. You never know what's in the dark, and, and well, how could you see if the galumphalots were out there anyway? Because it is dark. Look around you, Orange. Close your eyes. Are they closed tight? Now open them again and look around. Any galumphalots there? No. I always remind myself that there's nothing in the dark that isn't there in the light. You're right. And if you can imagine the galumphalot being scary, then you could probably do a good job imagining one funny, too. <laughs> You're right. We are all bigger than our fears, no matter how bitty we think we are at times. That's right! And Orange, you were the one who got your old courage back at the end, even when we were all scared. I was? Oh, yeah! And you were the one that said, four! I was! And you were the one that fired the elastic trap. I was! You were always the bravest of us. I am. You're right, Strawberry. There is nothing in the dark that isn't there in the light. Not even galumphalots. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Woogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone inside for my special Style Under the Stars hair extravaganza.
a not-so-stormy night. Everything was quiet in the sleepy little town. No one knew it then, but strange things were about to happen. was followed by a bright and not at all stormy day. Using my brilliant brain, I, Patty Persimmon, genius detective, tracked down the suspect. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Looking wonderful, wonderful. Uh, coming along beautifully. A glorious glimmerberry crop this season. <laughs> Oh, good, my goodness me! Uh, how could it? Uh, it couldn't! But it is! How peculiar! What a mystery! Raspberry, blueberry, orange blossom! It's time to get going! It's a very beautiful day for a swim! We don't want to miss a minute! What are we fighting yes. for? <laughs> Whoa! Hold on! Where's Blueberry? Wherever she is, it isn't here. Come to think of it, she's been missing out on a lot lately. Yeah. I was supposed to have lunch with her yesterday, but she called and postponed it until next week. Same with her haircut appointment. She called and canceled. Huh? Blueberry? Uh... Blueberry! Aha! Yikes! Hi, Strawberry, Raspberry. Come in, come in! section. Then again, I could put what? some under bestseller, because I know they'll be bestsellers. <sighs> Where are all your other books? No room. I had to move them out. I only have Patty Persimmon Mysteries now. It's all I read. <laughs> Blueberry. Mysteries are great, but... You love all sorts of books. You like learning about all kinds of things. But Patty Persimmon Mysteries are the best books I've come across in ages. And she's such a fantastic detective. I wish I could be that smart. <laughs> you are smart, Blueberry. And such a good memory for details. <laughs> well, you could use a little help there, I might say. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> well... You did forget we were all going swimming today, remember? Oh, no. Was that today? Oh, I'm sorry, girls. I'd like to get all these books organized. Perhaps another day, okay? Okay. There's our nature hike tomorrow. Oh, 
I'll be there. You can count on me. It's just today, I'm so busy. Okay. Come on, Raspberry. Strawberry! Raspberry! Come quick, come see! Berry can bloom! What is it? Can't you tell us what's the matter? Oh, if I told you, you'd never believe me. Better you should see with your own eyes. Oh, we'll see what? Uh. to that glimmerberry plant. It's caught a case of the rare, the unusual, the mysterious platyspotus. What is woozus? Platyspotus. It's a condition which causes the plants to turn plaid and polka dotted. Oh, is it bad? Oh, it's not good. And from a fashion sense, plaid and polka dots, awful. What causes it? That's a mystery. I recall reading somewhere it's a lack of a certain vitamin. But which one? I can't recall. Does it hurt the berries? Uh, not that I remember, but I don't know for sure. Oh, can, can you do anything? Hmm. Well, maybe if I mixed up a batch of extra special vitamin plant food. Why, yes, that's it. Wonderful idea. Off I go. Well... Guess we'd better get to the pond if we want to go swimming today. Yeah, I guess. Let's make sure we have everything we need for the nature hike. Lunch, check. Binoculars, <laughs> check. Guidebooks, uncheck. Blueberry was supposed to bring them. She forgot to bring them? She forgot to bring herself. Oh, Blueberry. Hmm. Let's swing by and see what's keeping her. Blueberry, did you forget about our nature hike? Gun detecting. I wonder what that means. Blueberry, are you in there? Hello? You there! Blueberry? Detective Blueberry. How do I look? Like, <laughs> Patty Persimmon. Thanks! What are you up to? Wait, don't tell me. Let me figure it out like Patty does. She really knows how to get into the mind of a criminal. Criminal? Mm-hmm. 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 Well, my keen powers of deduction tell me that you're... Going on a nature hike. How'd you guess? It was no guess. I asked myself. Why would these girls have butterfly nets and binoculars? What a coincidence! We were just asking ourselves, why don't we have nature guidebooks? What nature guidebooks? The ones you were going to bring? Oops, I think they got boxed up to make room for all the new Patty Persimmon mysteries. Well, are you going to join us for the hike? You might want to change. Oh, girls, I'm sorry. I don't want to hold you up. See, I really need to practice my detecting skills. We have muffins. Your favorite, blueberry. You do? Oh, no thank you. I don't care for muffins. Huh? Huh? See you later. I'm off to solve another mystery. Uh, isn't it Patty Persimmon who doesn't like muffins? Not Blueberry. I mean, I like Patty Persimmon books too, but what happened to our friend Blueberry? <sighs> That's the real mystery. If you ask me, Blueberry's getting way carried away with those Patty Persimmon mysteries. I know. Let's try and find a really new and interesting plant specimen to bring back for her. Something to remind her of her other interests. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. You mean, maybe something like that? What is it? Oh, no! It's called Platys Spotus, <gasps> and it's spreading! Oh, indeed it is. My extra special vitamin and rich plant food didn't work. Does that mean all the plants could end up like this? I'm afraid that's true. I just don't know what to do. Oh, what if we cleared away the plants that are close so it couldn't spread? Uh, yeah, 
yes, yes, yes. Just might work. And Bloom says that should take care of the problem. Phew, that sure was a lot of work. And it would have been easier if we had some help from you know who. Yes, I know. Why don't we plan something fun for tomorrow? We deserve it for working so hard. Maybe a big picnic in the meadow. Sounds good. But right now, I need a nap. An all night nap. <sighs> See you guys in the morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well. Blueberry? You there! I'm just about to solve the mystery of why these flowers would want to close up like this. Maybe they feel sad. Maybe they feel embarrassed. Uh, maybe because it's getting dark? And that's what flowers do at night? Aha! Uh -huh. It's because it's getting dark, and that's what flowers do at night. This mystery? is solved! Hmm. If you're finished with this mystery, would you have time to solve another? Of course! Really? What is it? No, 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 wait, don't tell me. The mystery of the mysterious mystery. What could it be? Why would a mystery want to be mysterious? What kind of thing would Strawberry find mysterious? Oh, uh, why don't I give you a clue? <gasps> you there! Why do the plants look like this? That's the mystery. Something's making them turn plaid and polka dotted. But I'm sure you can find the answer in one of your books. No, 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 no. I'm going to solve this case the Patty Persimmon way. And she always begins by gathering clues. And then comes the fun part. Fun part? Yes. Getting into the mind of the criminal. Asking herself how a criminal thinks. Hmm. Why would plants want to be polka dot and plaid? Maybe they were bored. Uh... Aha! I know what's wrong with these plants. Someone has been painting them. Why would anybody do that? Exactly! That is what I'm going to find out. I'm going to wait for the criminal to return to the scene of the crime. They always do that, you know. I learned it from Patty Persimmon, genius detective. <sighs> I'll stay out here all night if I have to. Not a thing will escape my keen eye. And the other one, too. and polka dots now. Well, hey, maybe Blueberry solved the mystery. Where is she, anyway? She was around here somewhere. <gasps> hmm. uh, Blueberry? Yeah. Aha! You there! So it was you all along. And you're a criminal accomplice. This case is solved. So, what made you do it? Uh, do what? Paint plaids and spots on the berry plants. Uh, we didn't paint anything. Then what are you doing here in the middle of the night? We came to check on you, to make sure you were okay. Actually, it's morning now. Aha! I knew that. I just wanted to see if you knew that I knew. <laughs> you know? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a mystery to solve. Somewhere out here is a master criminal, a fiend with no sense of fashion. Oh, no. What are we going to do about Blueberry? We never see her anymore. And even when she's here, she's not really here. She's pretending to be Patty Persimmon. Yeah, I think... I just may have an idea. Now, I'll need everybody's help. So, what I was thinking of was... There's another mystery, Blueberry. One
one that has us all stumped. Well, I am still working on the spotted plaid plant mystery, but I think I can fit another one in. In the multiple mulberries mystery, Patty Persimmon juggled 10 cases at the same time and solved them all. She's just so great. So, you there, what's the new mystery? Well, it's sort of a, a missing person case. Aha! Why would a person go missing? As Patty Persimmon would say, time to get a clue or two. This missing person, they haven't been seen recently? You might say that. Aha! I knew it! Now, what is their favorite color? Favorite color? Uh, blue! If it was Wednesday... It is Wednesday. Where might I find this person on a Wednesday? I mean, if they weren't missing. Uh, at the cafe? At book club. Say no more. Your missing person is as good as found. You're probably wondering why I called you here today. Because, uh, we're having book club here today? Besides that, you, uh, figured out who's missing? Aha! Close! It's because I've almost figured out who's missing. Just a few more questions, and this case will be closed like a door slammed in a strong wind. My keen detective mind tells me the answers to those questions are in... this very room! What, uh, sorts of questions? What is this person's favorite food? That'd be... muffins. Aha! Especially blueberry muffins. Aha! What about hobbies? Uh, uh well, um, uh, oh, she loves to read books. Aha! It's a girl! You said she! I've gathered the clues and I'm putting them together. She likes the color blue and has a suspicious fondness for blueberry muffins. She likes to read books and should be here at book club if she weren't missing. And the only person like that is... Yeah? Well, who is it? Come on, the suspense is too much. The only person like that is... Me. Uh, Wait a no. It's you already. You did it, Blueberry. You solved the mystery. So I'm the missing person? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, uh, guess I haven't been around so much lately, huh? And we've been missing you. Come quick, everyone, to the grove! Just look, look, look! Plan to spot us a spread to everything. That does not look good. It's as bad as a curse, and watch this, it gets worse! <laughs> Glimmerberry sparkles didn't stick. Indeed. And if the sparkles do not stick, the glimmerberry cannot be harvested. But if the glimmerberries can't be harvested, oh, there will be no power to run the town. There has to be something we can do. Whatever are we going to do? Maybe Blueberry can help us. Me? You could do some research with your books. I'm very sure you can find a way to stop the Platus Spotus. I can try. this book, we need half a smidgen of this. Yes, yes, that's just what it says. And this book says we need a quarter pinch of this. Now, let me check my notes. Yes, it says it right there, page 324. Indeed, it does. And finally, a little dash of this. There, that ought to do it. I hope this works. Give it a second.
sure is good to have you back, Blueberry. It's great to be back. I guess I didn't make a good detective anyway. You made a very fine detective, but you make an even better friend. And that's no mystery. <laughs> <laughs>